System Overview The CTEC Maxon Anterior Cervical Plate System is indicated for use in the fusion of the cervical spine at levels C2 to T1. It was designed to address the clinical issue of adjacent segment ossification, whereby osteophytes develop at the cervical spine segments above and below the levels where an anterior cervical plate has been placed. The Maxon system consists of one, two, and three level plates and both fixed and semi-constrained screws in 4.0 mm and 4.5 mm diameters. The screws are available in color-coded lengths of 12 mm, 14 mm, and 16 mm. The plates are available in several lengths within each level and they feature a unique one-step locking ring that provides a secure locking mechanism for the screws. Design Rationale A direct correlation has been shown to exist between adjacent level ossification following anterior cervical plate procedures and the proximity of the plate to the adjacent levels. Specifically, a higher rate of adjacent segment ossification was found when an anterior cervical plate is placed 5 mm or less from an adjacent cervical segment as compared to when an anterior cervical plate is placed 5 mm or more. The Maxon system addresses this issue by providing unique instrumentation options. Smaller plates, more plate sizes, one millimeter incremental growth for one level plates, and the ability to angulate the screws up to 30 degrees cephalad and caudal. Both fixed and semi-constrained screws may be placed at any angle within this 60 degree sweep. Instrumentation. In addition to standard classic ACDF instruments, the Maxon system additionally offers instruments to drill screw holes only a millimeter and a half from the end plate, thus supporting the concept of maintaining at least five millimeters of distance from the adjacent segment. The trial drill guide, for example, trials the graft thickness and drills the screw holes in one step. The location of the screw holes is now directly related to the graft thickness, and they are 1.5 millimeters from the end plate at 20 degrees cephalad and 10 degrees caudal. Screw Insertion and Locking Mechanism The Maxon system utilizes a ring locking mechanism in the plate that captures the screw by closing around the sides of the screw head. The head of the Maxon screws has a locking lip which interacts with a corresponding capture groove inside the ring. When the locking lip snaps into the capture groove in the ring, the screws are captured to the plate. There is tactile and audible feedback that this capture has been achieved. Once the Maxon screw is captured within the ring, the screw should continue to be advanced until the head of the screw is flush with or slightly below the ring. This additional tightening, usually about a half to a full turn, helps lag the plate to the bone. While the Maxon semi-constrained and fixed screws both capture within the ring the same way, there is a difference in how each contact the ring when they are fully seated. As a semi-constrained screw is fully inserted into the plate, the screw head does not expand the ring within the hole. This allows for toggle, or micro-motion, between the plate and the screw. When the fixed screw is fully inserted into the plate, the larger fixed screw head expands the ring within the plate and presses the ring against the walls of the plate hole. Screw Removal In order to remove a screw from a Maxon plate, the ring needs to be held in place while the capture mechanism is disengaged. Once this is done, the entire screw can be removed. Thread the screw remover sleeve onto the screw inserter and seat the cruciate tip of the screw inserter into the cruciate on the bone screw. Turn the black knob on top of the inserter clockwise until it fully engages with the screw. Spin the screw remover sleeve down only until it makes contact with the ring, but do not tighten. Hold the gold handle of the remover sleeve steady while turning the blue handle counterclockwise. This action holds the ring steady while allowing the screw to back out past the capture groove in the ring. Once an audible click is heard, the screw is no longer captured to the plate and the remover sleeve no longer needs to be held. The screw inserter remover can now be fully turned counterclockwise to back the screw completely out of the bone. 
Confirm that the slot on the ring is oriented in the cephalad caudal direction once the screw has been removed. If it is not, discard the plate and use a new one. In summary, the C-Tech Maxon system was designed to address the clinical issue of adjacent segment ossification by providing a large selection of plate sizes, the ability to place the screws at steep angles, and unique instrumentation options that help to achieve simple and accurate plate placement.